Hey everybody, and welcome back. So, if you watched the thing yesterday, there was a rat snake that got in my chicken coop yesterday. Well, really poultry coop, coop because it's chicken and ducks. But, anyways, the rat snake got in the coop yesterday, and I still have not been able to find it. I tried to find it when I wasn't recording or anything just to so I wouldn't startle it or anything but I wasn't able to find it I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do about it I might just wait till Wednesday when my dad can help me out because we can actually pull this coop apart a little bit to locate it still not sure why I don't see it because It came out yesterday, but it also knows that I'm trying to get it now, so I don't think it's going to come out now. <sighs> Here's an e a hidden egg that I forgot to get yesterday. And here's a shot of my ducks. Them three are my smallest, and this one's a whole lot bigger. Right now, this duck right here is molting. That's why it's losing its feathers. Molting is when it actually gets new feathers in and new layering of coating. And right here, you can see which one's the female. This one, the big one's a female. I honestly thought it was a male, which is a funny story, because I... Just named it Quackers, but now its name obviously ain't Quackers. But the two, so this one right here, that one's a male, that one's a male, and the smallest one right there, that's a female. And the one that's closest to the female right now. They're a bonded pair. I used to have a second bonded pair, the female that went with him. But sadly, we've had a hawk that we've been having problems with for a couple of years. And when she mysteriously disappeared, when we didn't have our rooster running around, I think that's what happened to her. But anyways, let's feed the chickens real quick. But this is what I feed them. This is just your typical pellet grain from like track supply or any of your supply stores. I get it from track supply and we have it mixed with sunflower seeds and a couple of other stuff. But just get your regular poultry pellets egg laying pellets and then we use um crushed oyster shells too then work really good with poultry and if you want to know like the health benefits of that of anything just say in the comments and i'll let you know Here's all the ducks coming by. <laughs> Check over here real quick for eggs. No eggs. No eggs. Stress can deal a lot. 
and it can do a lot of damage to poultry. And I'm gonna give my ducks a little extra right here. There we go. You go, little buddy. Because our rooster thinks he's all big and bad, so he just likes to bully everyone around. So I, what I got to get done today is I got to give my rabbit some more water because it's just doing nothing but getting hotter up here. So I'm going to get them some stuff and then I'm going to do all that. And I think I should be good for today. There might be something I might have forgot. I don't think there is, but you can never be sure. Goats are really starting to get on my nerves. You go, guys. Okay, so I got them some food. And I only feed our Nigerian dwarf goats like every other day because really they don't really need pellets. I just started them on pellets to slowly get them used to it. Because honestly with Nigerian dwarf goats, as long as you have a big lawn or you don't even need a big lawn technically, as long as you have growing grass that they can eat 24 seven, they'll be fine. Just don't let them eat nothing but weeds and all that because they'll mess up their stomach. Just pick up a couple of garden weeds or weeds around the garden or just anywhere in like your ditch or whatever. Just don't let them eat everything because stuff like lawn clippings and stuff they can eat a pretty good bit of, but lawn clippings for any animal, too much of it ain't that good. I mean, it's alright. I mean, it tastes pretty good, but... Honestly, I wouldn't eat nothing but it. It's got a little bit of a spice to it, though. Kind of like it. Now, I'm, I'm not saying you go home and try to try different types of grass, but you got to admit, that was a pretty good piece of grass. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the hose down here because I had to put the hose in the pool because my dad had to vacuum out the pool earlier. Because we have an above ground pool currently. And we're just trying to get it clear right now. It's not as easy as you think it is. At all.
but like I said in my first video once I get to a hundred subscribers I'll eat an entire pack of worms now no I'm not just gonna go in my yard and pick up random earthworms or whatever because if you just pick up random worms and start eating them out of your yard or whatever they'll have stuff like parasites and that's the last thing you want absolute last thing but yeah you don't want parasites Especially not from anything out of the ground. Just like how you wouldn't pick up a crop and start eating it after it just got pesticide spray on it. Stuff like seven dust. You wouldn't just pick it up and start eating it right after you seen them spray it on it or throw the dust on it. Well, I think I have tried that a couple of times. But I don't recommend it. I'm just hard-headed, so I don't really know the difference. So don't follow my example at all. So right now I'm just heading up to turn on the hose. And after we're done with the rabbits, we should be good because my sister deals with inside animals. Because all I got to do currently right now with the inside animals is I got to feed my fish. Because I have a peacock cichlid currently. And I have an African cichlid. The African cichlid's like one third, one fourth of the size of the peacock cichlid. But African cichlids are more aggressive than peacock cichlids. So they get along just fine. Because both of the breeds are really aggressive fish. Like I went to... I went to... One pet shop. Back when I started breeding African cichlids. And I don't breed them no more. But I called while I was breeding them. And... I was like, hey, would y'all be interested in buying these from me? And they're like, no, we have people return them all the time because how aggressive they are. People just don't really like these fish. But, I mean, this is so simple to just do this and you clean it out a little bit like that. literally that simple and then you just fill up the top and it's that and it's that easy and I just do this like I could do it like every other day or I, or I won't have to do it for like another week just depends on how hot it is but most of the time, I either do it every day or every other day. I at least top it off, but I completely clean it out once a week or twice a week because rabbits ain't necessarily the cleanest. Like, all I'm doing right now is just spraying out, like, their dung and stuff like that, their feces. But an update on the sand for my hermit crabs. It's almost done. It'll be ready to take inside tomorrow. It's barely got any water as you can see. And I'll add it into my tank tomorrow. More than likely. I'll either add it in tomorrow or the next day. 
I'm not really sure because I start back work tomorrow. And depending on what my schedule is, I might or might not do it tomorrow. But I'll still be doing a video every day. So, don't worry about that. Now, of course, I'll be letting y'all know when I go on vacation or whatever. Because, of course, I won't be doing videos on vacation. But, I might just do some journaling entries while I'm at vacation. Like, if I'm at the beach or whatever. Just fill in with what I'm doing up there. You just comment down below if you want me to do journal entries while I'm up at the beach. So I'm currently going up to Charleston. I think next week for a wrestling camp. So if y'all want me to fill, fill y'all in while I'm up there, just comment down below and I'll keep y'all informed. And I'll see y'all next time on Farming for Amateurs.